Hey gamers, hey geeks and gamers, hey gamers, gamers. Oh fuck, I'm recording. Hi, uh, you just heard my sound test. <clears throat> anyway. Um, hi everyone, I'm Alfred. That's embarrassing. Hi everyone, I'm Alfred. Um, welcome back to Hive Swap Friends Sim. So, I've not actually... Played this in a couple of days? I think I was here, right? Of Ladies Grey and Lucy White. But, I'm Alfred. Have Zob Fremson. Gonna befriend some trolls. Putting one foot in front of the other, you continue on through this strange alien world. Just when we think stuff is beginning to make sense, it all slips through your fingers and becomes even stranger, more alien. There does, however, seem to be one thing that remains constant through all planet and walks of life. That thing is friendship. You're on the prowl for more. It would have perhaps been wise to stay with one of your wonderful new friends until you're healed. But as Martha Stewart said, visitors like fish begin to smell after three days. You are almost positive Martha Stewart said that. Nevertheless, you soldier on in your endless quest for companionship. Where are they going to take you next? Okay. So we have a bronze blood cow gal. I love how the, the stalk of wheat in her mouth is purple or blue. We have Bronya Ursama. Okay. So green bloods in the past have been um hmm rainbow drinkers, aka vampires. And she has pointed teeth, which to me is like, hey, interesting. She also looks like she has a bat on her shirt. I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, Skyla Koriga, a cow gal. As dawn approaches, you find yourself heading out of the big city and into the rustic outskirts. Man, the sun sure is bright on this planet, right over the crest of the distant hill. A huge fiery ball. Later it gets the bigger and bigger it grows, way bigger than you'd ever seen the sun on Earth. Yeah, I think I mentioned this in the past, but the Alternian sun is dangerous and uh, can actually kill and blind regular trolls. What's that smell? Could it be your flesh beginning to sizzle? Fantastic, you love the country. No wonder the night time, uh, the nightlife seems so active on Alternia. They're all nocturnal to avoid brutal daily roasting. Reach into your pocket for your cool new shades, but you've heard have left them at your friend's house. Fuck. You gotta get yourself together. The recent physical trauma and extensive blood loss has you a little fuzzy. You weren't built for this wilderness survival shit. You certainly wish you'd just stolen a fucking Lamborghini or something instead of a spaceship. <laughs> this series seems doesn't look good. The city is too far away for you to turn back. Too far away now for you to turn back, so you have no to continue walking. Maybe you can find a cave or a hole in the ground. Maybe you can cover yourself with the grass. Oops. You wish that someone had mentioned the death sun between offering you alien meat products and calling you their muse. Off to the left in the distance, you catch a sight of what might be a shimmer of sunlight and glass. A window, solar panel... You could seriously clean up with renewable energy on this planet. Should you change your trajectory and go towards the center, it might be a mirage. I wonder what happens. I'll go towards it. Turn your aching, singing meat sack towards the distant, promising sparkle of safety and sucker. You focus on staying upright, one step at a time. Just keep swimming wherever. God, this sun, though. You need SPF 5 million for this nonsense. But then, almost like it has picked itself up to come scuttling to meet you, you suddenly find yourself in front of a long, low structure. You get out a yelp of anguish pounding on the door. At least you hope it's the door. What in the world? The door opens and you fall inside with one of the most pathetic whimpers of your career. Blessed darkness closes in on you. From right beside you comes a snuffling yip like some joker is making fun of your dire situation. Something warm and wet glides up your stinging cheek. Hold on, lady. Give him some room. A pair of hands help you sit up gently. Your eyes haven't adjusted enough to make up more than one of the couple shapes. One upright and one low to the ground. What were you doing out there? Can you stand? Strong arms pull you to your feet. You wonder if everyone on this planet has strong or if you're incredibly flimsy. They guide you to a chair at the end of a long table. Stutteringly, you begin to explain yourself. You are an injured, exhausted traveler who is ravenous for pals. I've just noticed the, um, what looks like a big friendly dog in the background. And I guess that's Lucis. And above her, um, above her right horn, left to you, is what looks like dog food. So hopefully she has a fun dog friend. Well, bless you, your heart. But hold on a tick. 
Dinner's about to burn. Now your rescue mentions it, you smell something. It smells amazing. Funny you should blunder in here just like that. I was saying it, wasn't I, lady? It's been so long since we have any sort of guests who weren't Imperial Jones or out to rob us. You rub your watering, slowly clearing eyes. When you look back up, your rescuer comes into focus. She's tall. Taller than anyone else you've met here, you think. Also, maybe a little older? Ooh, interesting. Not your expert in troll physiology. She has an air of knowledgeable competence. She's wearing a fringe jacket and holding up a plate. There you go. Your oculars feeling any better? By the way, my name's Skyla. Pleasure to meet you. And this here's Lady. <laughs> oh, it looks like garbage. <laughs> oh, I love that. She looks down. First, you think she means the table. Then you look under the table at the giant monster dogling at you. You jolt so hard, you almost fly backwards out of your goddamn chair. Whoa there. No need for theatrics. Looks a little like one of those lassie dogs with pointing nose, except enormous and pure white. Its bark should practically shake the whole house. Hey there, lady. No need to be rude. They've clearly had one hell of a time and don't look dangerous. Just really peculiar. Besides, if they try anything, you and me can take them. Skyla puts her hands on her hips, staring at you with thunderous yellow eyes. I like this girl. At first, I wasn't going to like her, but like... You know, I've probably been burned by how much Tavro sucks. And Rufio's cool, but like, he's almost too cool for his own good. This is a cool bronze blood girl. Rat? No funny business, ya hear? You swallow nod, trying to look unthreatening and obliging, ready for anything. For instance, friendship. You're so ready for that. Skyla sits down to the plate she's holding. Here, have a grub cake. There's plenty. That sounds gross as hell, but what's sitting on the plate looks like... Looks and smells like a normal pancake, golden brown and crispy at the edges. Oh, fuck yours. There's boiled tree blood, too, if you like. Oh, boiled tree blood sap is made in the maple syrup. Haha. Ha. And churn dairy product. <laughs> okay. This is getting a bit much. Oh, fuck. Um, I think it's this one. Puts on a crop of syrup and a dish of butter. Man, everything here has weird names. So... Skyla pours you out a cup of some familiar sounding liquid. Brown bean juice, you guess. She raises an eyebrow. Um, no. That's just coffee. <laughs> God damn it. She sits out next to you. You're lucky. Oh, they didn't do the Y right there. You were only just out in the light at dawn. No one wants to be out in direct Alternian sunlight besides Jade Bloods. Yeah, those are the, um, the rainbow drinkers I mentioned. And no offense, but you certainly ain't any jade blood that I've ever seen. At first I thought you were some sort of mutated lucis because you didn't have horns and you were grunting and yipping up a storm back there. And because I'm pasty white. That's actually just an art thing, though. The luci are drawn as white because that's how they are. All Alternian animals are. Um, but humans and homestuck are drawn like that because they're aracial. It's an art thing to be inclusive. I like it. But you are an alien, right? Don't worry, I won't call the drones. I'd best get used to being around aliens anyway. Seeing as how I'm going to be seeing a whole mess of y'all come next week. Oh, she's so old that she's going to leave the planet. Okay. I guess that um, her being bronze blood means that she ages quicker. Or maybe she doesn't age quicker, but she dies sooner. So in the grand scheme of things, technically speaking, she is older regardless. She laughs nervously. You aren't sure what she's talking about anymore. Do you need to specify this point? It's a natural law at this point. Gravity, conservation of energy, and you don't know what the fuck is going on. Lady, would you mind drawing a bath for our guest? No offense, but you smell like you could use one. Can't argue with that. You offer her a cautious smile. Gosh, you seem so nice and caring, but you've been burned before, and cut, and generally kicked around by fate. Tough world out there, but you want to trust Skyla. Lady takes a bucket into her muzzle and runs out of the yard, getting up on her hind lens and batting at the door latch to open it. It's adorable. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sun is high enough that the whole landscape outside is washed in white. Oh god, the dog! Oh, it's sweet of you to worry ye. Loose eye are fine for going outside in the daylight. Their coat reflects light or something to that effect. That makes sense. It's like how you get albinism on Earth. Except the opposite, because albinos burn in the sun very easily. My wife is basically an albino. I don't really know how it works. <laughs> So tell yourself, it's a TV show. I should really just relax, eh? 
I ain't exactly known for my scientific acumen. You can tell you tell her that she seems pretty smart from where you're standing. As cynical as you're becoming, you can't help but trying to be your friend. Uh, she's so nice and wow, really pretty. Not that that's a requirement for friendship, but your retinas would have to be way more skull than they are now to not notice that. That's nice of you to say. But it wouldn't really matter if I was a bona fide Kentucky Fried genius. Some of my cast would never hope to rise up in the ranks. Yeah, you're second from the bottom. Not kind of mutants. Best I can hope for is hauling crates on some cargo vessel. Granks? Cargo vessel? Swallow your bite of grub cake, ready to ask her if she's thinking about joining the military, but then a swell of noise erupts from out the house. Oh god. Shouts crashes, Lady's fantastic bark. Scylla gasps and launches herself out of the chair, knocking over the craft with syrup. It oozes across the table in a sticky wave. Oh no! Not now! What the hell's going on? Bandits! <gasps> Goddamn Lucis Thieves! You don't get the chance to ask anything else before Scylla careens towards the door, throwing up an arm as blazing white light pours in. Oh god, she's gonna go outside and burn up. She's thinking that you gotta do something. Uh, help her. I'll burn. What the hell? You already experienced the alternating sun. It sucked a whole lot. Maybe now it'll suck less because of how bad it sucked then. Just a sliding scale of suckage. Skylo plunges into daylight in the direction of the commotion, and like a big dumb asshole, you barrel out in the... <laughs> Blazing hellscape after her. Surprise, it still sucks. You've had sunburns before, but this is ridiculous. You know, one time I had, um, I think third degree sunburns on my shoulders. Third degree is the worst one, right? Because it's first degree murder and third degree burns are the worst of them, respectively. This is ridiculous. This is a fucking monster of a gas giant pointing and laughing at the tiny speck of humanity you represent, trembling before the void. It's pure assault on your senses. The light is almost as bad as the heat, and you put up your arms to block the glare, following the dust still it kicks up behind her. You doubt your eyes will ever actually adjust to this fuckery, but you can see a little better than before. There are a dozen of them, all trolls wearing dark pad outfits that cover their faces. They look happy between hazmat suits and SWAT uniforms. That's neat. All of them have big, fake-looking guns that probably aren't fake. <laughs> One of them shoots a laser at your face. You duck and leaves a blazing heat trail across your cheek. But as all of you is currently burning, it doesn't really break your stride. Skylar throws herself into the fray, letting out a war cry accompanied by the sound of a fist-hitting flesh. Fuck yeah! It's 12 against 2, which, if you remember your fractions right, is not unlike 6 against 1. These guys have probably not been expecting a frontal assault, and they had definitely not been expecting a Skyla, who was frankly fucking terrifying. She shoves three trolls down like dominoes, grabbing a discarded gun and shooting all three while they're on the ground. Hell yeah. You've never in a fight before. A fucking all-out brawl. It's scary, but now you're in the thick of it, it's also kind of awesome. Sure, your skin is burning, you could be killed at any moment, but that's how it goes on the planet. You gotta get into the swing of things. Take no prisoners. Kill or be killed. Hell yeah! You pop one of the bandit trolls in the face. Fuck, that probably hurt your fist more than hurt the troll, but it does throw off the balance of her long enough uh, to th for Scylla to smash the butt of her gun to the side of their head. Yeah! Fuck yeah! Hell yeah! Gives you a wild grin. Two of you are beaming at each other while a hostile alien sun tries to boil the liquid from your eyeballs and a bunch of bandits try to dog nap a giant monster. You love this girl. I do. In a friendship way. I'm not sure about that. But still, you love her. You make an awesome team. Another troll comes up behind Skyla and she smashes an elbow into the throat, grabbing them in the front of the uniform and suplexing them onto the dusty ground. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. I'm definitely blowing up my mic. Let me turn up. Let me turn my sound down a little bit. Uh, there we go. Okay, that should be a little better. She wails on them with her bare hands. God. She's really hot. <laughs> Get lady. Oh, right. Stumble over where the loose is thrashing inside a big black net. You don't have any way to cut her free, but she's doing great on her own, biting through the fibers with her big sharp teeth. Hell yeah, lady. Hold the net still so we can finish the job, so she can finish the job, and then pull it off her so she can join the fray. It's over fast after that. How'd they even get lady in the neck in the first place? In the net, rather. She's so giant and quick, grabbing trolls in her jaws and shaking them like chew toys. Remaining five who are standing uh, still jump into their weird little dune buggies and make tracks. Emphasis on the bug. They look like scuttling little beetles. Skyla chases after them for a few hundred yards. Wow. Throwing the gun after them and shouting obscenities. And stay away, you hear? Tell the rest of them why you don't ever fuck with a Rusty's ranch. Fuck yes. She stands silhouetted against the blazing sun. Dust trails vanishing in the distance. You are washed in heady victory. Giggling like a lunatic before the adrenaline all kind of drains out of you at once. You're finally reminded of your fucked up ribs and recent blood loss. The alternating sun beats down and your arms are already covered in a raised patch of red skin. The sunburns are up to 11. Whoa there, are you... are you okay? Skyla's swaying too. 
spray of olive green blood covers her cheek. At least the rainbow blood on this planet means you can be sure it isn't her. Oh. Okay, interesting. So they might have been capturing them for paints, if I know my stereotypes correctly. She looks rough, kind of how you feel. Lady, come here, girl. <laughs> well, you're just gonna you're just gonna sit down. Maybe take a little break. Pale landscape swoops, going even paler. No, you can't rest here. You'll die, dumbass. I'm not letting anything happen to my new best friend. <gasps> Get up. New best friend? Holy shit, that makes you so happy. You absolutely cannot die here. Not when you made such an amazing friend. Somehow the two of you managed to drag each other across the yard and get to the house. Hive. You're going to get this lingo down if it kills you. Fuck yeah. When you feel yourself about to fall forward, you lean on Scylla. Skyla. When you start to fall back, Lady Zetter brace her help against the back of your knees. She's a good Lucis. You wonder if she'll be your friend too. Her muzzle is dripping with a soup of multicolored alien blood. When you get back in the direction of the hive, you can't see shit. Dang, your species really ain't suited for this kind of environment, huh? You can't even see in the dark. In demonstration, you walk right into the table. You've had it with tables. You're sworn enemies at this point. Oh, I can kind of see you a little bit. Please don't knock down my nutrition platform. I built it myself. She sounds exhausted, but di uh, giddy. Dang, you really did that thing, didn't you? You kind of want to go in for the hug, but this sunburn's really something. Feels like tiny needles piercing your arms and cheeks. The back of your neck's calling you fire ants. Oh, yeah. Feels really bad, doesn't it? Come on, there's only one cure for sun rash. Skyla takes your hand. God, this is next level friendship, chef. Stuff. She leads you through the hive, and who knows if you're going to get your vision back. You, maybe you're just blind for life. That actually happened to one of the trolls in canon. Um, that's why Terezi's blind. She looked into the sun. You have to get a canon, a whism whimsical aesthetic, and learn to navigate the world by smell alone. Well, well, no, that would be stupid. That's what Terezi did. And it was dumb. <laughs> Here we go. My coop isn't huge, but you're kind of scrawny. What are you waiting for? Take your clothes off. Sun must have fucked with more than your eyes, because you could have sworn Skyla just told you to take your clothes off. You were seriously not getting to my recoup cocoon in those filthy rags. I'm not even sure what those clothes are supposed to be originally. Yeah, you're not so sure about your look either. A new friend of yours told you it was rad, but you're both a little high at the time. You might be a little high right now. You also wonder if sunset causes auditory hallucinations. Also, you don't know what a recoup cocoon is. It's like a bed, but it heals you. It's full of goo, so it gets your clothes all messy. Tavros had a moment where like, he got into his and he was all gooey and he didn't know why I did that. Hmm? Really? What the heck do you sleep on your planet? You hear a rustling, followed by the sound of clothes hitting the floor, then a weird gloop gloop, like somebody getting into a bathtub, only thicker. Joel didn't have soap or then. I don't rightly know what would happen, but I reckon it wouldn't be great. It can speed the healing process for burns and small wounds. Not sure what it's going to do to your weird alien anatomy, but I don't see how it's going to make it any worse. So, Scott, from your experience, things can always get worse. Especially from her perspective right now, she's going to see you naked. Nothing like a little self-crippling humor as an A-plus cover for crippling insecurity. <laughs> Skyla laughs. Come on, now. Sure, you're a perfectly healthy example of your species. I'm starting to lose this accent. <laughs> Get in already. I promise this isn't any sort of pale solicitation. Or flushed, for that matter. No, it's awkward, but I only got the one coup. Oh, there's only one bed. Oh, oh, oh. All right, okay. You can totally do this. You can make this not weird. Of course, you trip taking off your goddamn pants, and Skyla starts laughing all over again. Not in a mean way. More in a chill, please join me in my spine bathtub, old man, old chum way. In a non-awkward way. In a friend way. <laughs> oh my god, she's huge. Look at her. She's like twice my height. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. I, uh, I didn't go into this expecting that the, the southern one would be, like, one of my new favorites, but god damn. That's, um, that's good. That's real, real good. Oh, jeez. Bronze brawling. You fought off a pack of Lucis Lucent, Wranglers. I don't know why I have these still. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Okay, I don't have to do that accent anymore, and I'm very pleased about that. Um, that was a great episode. That was a lot of fun. Very simple. <coughs> um, so, I've been Alfred. This has been Hive Swap Friend Sim. Available on Steam for cheap. Very, very cheap. It's extremely cheap. I got it for 50 cents a pop. And all in all, it was like nine bucks. Maybe 10, actually. Yeah, 10 with tax. 
But still, a lot of content, a lot of good in this game. Definitely worth your purchase. Go play it yourself. See what the other rats are like. Uh, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming on.